What does a through hiker do on his day off? I have no idea, but we're gonna find out. Come join me. All right, so I think the plan for this morning is to go down to the general store, get some coffee and some like laundry detergent, and uh, maybe grab breakfast somewhere. I don't know what's uh, here yet. I know the restaurant doesn't open until 11, but we'll figure it out. Poo. Peaks of water. Man, these guys are obsessed with poo. All right, laundry is all done. I feel fantastic. I got a shower in between all that too. Going down to the outfitters that are now open to get several packages. If you want a zero, or if you need a zero, I should say, the Knock is a great freaking place, especially if you end up, you know, alone in a room. You can just kind of veg out, do your thing, get some quiet time, and then mingle with the other hikers at the restaurant, which kind of seems to be the hangout. I mean, it's like a, it's literally like a small little town here that has everything you need. And the trail that I'm walking down to get down there continues on to be the AT. So you're not very far off the AT at all. It literally walks straight down through the knock. So I like it. I spent last night here. The beds aren't going to be uh, what you're used to in a hotel room. It's just they're army bunks. They're prison bunks, which is fine. You sleep like a freaking rock um, out here. So anyway, going down to get my packages. Here we go. Okay, at the Outfitters. I should definitely take these hammocks down. Put some real hammocks up, but <laughs> let's head on in. <laughs> I'm telling you man, it's pretty cool here. I'm having a good time. They even got these uh nah, they're Eno, but it's alright. <laughs> they got little hammock stands over here. I don't think they'd work for a ten foot or more hammock. Probably uh the nine nine and a half footers are fine though. Uh, we got some kayakers out there. You can see them. And yeah, whitewater here, man. It looks pretty awesome, though. Look at this. Little, I don't know, jungle gym for kids? I have no clue. This is awesome. So I had a great day at the knock on my Zero. Been hanging out with this crazy girl the whole time. Say hi, Artemis on hey the guys. trail. <laughs> Check her out. She's a really cool chick. She knows what's up love her videos she's one of the few people that i'm following actively on the at during my off days like this i got one more video to catch up on episode Thank four you. yes right yeah yep. that's the last yep. episode you put out are you putting out one before you leave i think so okay yeah if i don't fall right. asleep it, the, the cold air and the hot showers are making me pretty tired <laughs> it's gonna be minus one with the wind chill tonight so we're like i said we're zeroing at the hostel we'll be heading out early or not the hostel the knock i should say and be headed out early tomorrow morning. Yep. Anyway, guys, gonna head back to the what do we even call it? The bunkhouse. Bunk She's house. heading back to her suite, and uh, you know we'll figure things out tomorrow. So yeah, check her out, Artemis on the trail. Thanks, really Jason. good. All right, thanks, guys. Okay, I'm back inside the bunkhouse. The knock is actually full for reservations tonight, which is crazy. Okay, so we got the Lone Peak three fives. These are a, the trusted shoe. Uh, that I wore last year, pretty comfortable in them. However, the Lone Peak 4s have made my feet swell up so much that I'm having actually a hard time fitting in here. I'm hoping they just need another night to recover and then uh, 
you know, I can be comfortable again. The Olympus 3s are on the way to um, my house, and my parents are going to bring them down to Hot Springs. That's in eight days. I really, really want to wear these. Okay, these have the cushion. These let me do 20 miles easily. These let me do about eight before they start getting on my nerves. So I think I might actually carry these shoes uh, to Fontana Village, which is in a day and a half. Just throw them in my backpack. If I have issues with these, and I'll have these as a backup, then I can choose which one I want to the Smokies. It sucks, but I don't know what else to do here. Uh, I'm kind of limited on shoes. I tried the Ultra Temps down at the Outfitter uh, that the Knock has, but they don't have my size. They felt like a comfortable shoe, but they just didn't have my size. They were rather too big, and the women's shoe was way too small. So it sucks. My feet suck. But... I have no idea what I'm going to do right now. We're going to figure it out tomorrow over coffee in the morning. And I have another box over here with my, with actually the girlfriend's rain skirt. So I have that uh, pretty much brand new. She only, I think only used it once. So I'm going to toss my current rain kilt out, the one that was kind of getting saturated and wet through, and start with a brand new one. And then I'll get her a new one when I get back. Anyway, I'm going to get packed up. This is the last night here, and tomorrow it's going to be 24 degrees. It's going to be in the single digits when we wake up, though. It'll be 24 at night. So, that will be interesting, and, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. Water's probably going to freeze, but at least everything's dry. And it's only a day and a half into Fontana before we start the Smokies. Just opened up the package. Got a little note here from my parents. <sighs> Got some homemade chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> uh, some more candy. I'll probably leave in the hiker box. I got way too much candy to begin with. Some extra baggies. Toilet paper. Some more extra baggies that I'll use throughout the hike. And some toothpaste, which I'm running low on. So thank you, uh, Chrissy and Mom and Dad. Thank you so much. Got everything. Also the rain skirt. <laughs> anyway, signing off for the night. Got a lot of stuff to do before tomorrow, and I want to rest my feet. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Slept perfect last night. I woke up about 6 o'clock, got a shower, brushed my teeth, heading down to the general store to get some coffee and to meet up with Artemis, and probably Mike's down there already. Uh, so about the shoes, uh, I thought my feet would like go down and swelling a little bit I didn't uh, still having a hard time fitting into them and uh, you know what? instead of carrying them all the way to Fontana Lodge uh, in a day and a half huh no it's actually pretty good Artemis is coming down right now but uh, yeah instead of carrying them the whole way to uh, Fontana I tossed them there's uh there's no way to send them back until I get to I could go into Fontana Village but I don't want to do that and, they have some weird hours too so I'm actually just gonna take ibuprofen I haven't taken really any vitamin I since I started uh, you know just kind of maybe like two at the end of the night kind of thing but uh, I'm gonna gonna do vitamin I and uh, I just don't want to carry it I really don't uh, in let's see what today's Wednesday I think I think today's Wednesday so next Wednesday I'll be out of the Smokies and in hot springs and I'll hopefully have my Olympus 3s. So we'll figure that out. Good morning, Artemis. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm tired. You tired? I had coffee, but I want the good coffee. Yeah, I want some good coffee before we uh, yeah. do this. Well, it's open now or is it open at 7? Or I 8, I mean. I believe it opens up at 7. Oh, okay. Well, I could have came down here earlier then. Okay, headed uh, the six, 6 or so miles uphill out of the NOC. I think we're heading up to Chia, Chio Bald or something like that. And we're doing a 16 mile day into some shelter. I don't know. I didn't look. <laughs> it's 16 miles. Uh, that'll put us into Fontana hopefully around uh, like 2 or 3 o'clock tomorrow. Which is super exciting. I'm not excited to carry 4 days of food and a sleeping pad at that point. We'll get into that later but <laughs> Exciting nonetheless, almost to the Smokies. 
So, had a good time with Mike and Artemis and all the other hikers, all the other hiker trash <laughs> that was coming in the past couple days at the NOC. I definitely recommend if you need a zero, take it there. It's like a little village, like I was saying yesterday. But uh, pretty cool stuff. And uh, again, Artemis is pretty much one of the only through hikers that I'm following this year because you know I don't have a lot of time to watch videos, obviously. So she makes some good content. She's worth a check out. So anyway, Artie had a great time with you yesterday. Appreciate it. So we've been walking a couple hours, getting up pretty high. But I think, if you can see that in the background, I think we're going up that. I think that's the last bit of this. Uh, actually, here is a sign right here. I don't know what it says. Let's see, grassy, grassy gap trail. Yeah, nothing. So, I think we're going up there. Uh, to tell you what, zeroing in the knock was really nice. But toward the end of that, I was starting to get antsy. I just wanted to get back on trail. I think uh, Mike had the, kind of the same feeling about it, but uh, I'm talking about Mike a lot, and uh, I don't want to stick a camera in his face and take away from his hike. I didn't ask if it's okay, uh, but I've noticed that he kind of stays out of the shot, so I'm not going to press the issue. You know, if you want to see other hikers, go check out other hiker channels. I'm not the kind of guy that's going to interfere with another person's hike, so I apologize, but you know, don't want to do that to someone, and I get it. I totally get it. People are camera shy. I totally understand. But he's a real cool dude. Awesome fella. And uh, we're going to be Neroing in Fontana tomorrow. It's at the Fontana Village something lodge or something. Fontana Lodge or whatever. Before we hit the Smokies. I think from then on, uh, he's going to go a little slower pace. I'm going to pick it up. It's because I want to do four days in and out of the Smokies. So we'll see how that goes. Holy crap. It feels uh, definitely single digits with the wind chill up here. Holy cow, it's freezing. I had to stop up with my gloves and my uh, rain jacket and the windbreak on. Whew! It is definitely nippy. Uh, I think we got about a, maybe like a mile to, if I'm saying this right, Shea Bald. Man, I bet the wind is going to be insane up there. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> It was fine coming up the mountain. Now, by the way, it's eight miles uphill. My hand is freezing just holding the camera. Oh man. All right, let's do this. really enjoying uh, being able to kind of run through my electronics batteries you know at my leisure this time I'm always worried about making it to the next uh, the next stay or the next stop but uh, we have a day and a half into Fontana and we're gonna Nero uh, and get kind of prepared mentally and physically for the Smokies so I have like four full phone charges on top of a full phone charge coming out of the knock so I've honestly just been listening to music all day and it's been beautiful, the scenery has been great. It's just been fantastic. Uh, almost at camp, we almost did a 16 mile day. I think we have uh, four left. Gonna get about a liter of water beforehand. Uh, and then it's probably gonna freeze tonight because it's going down to 24. And then it should be warming up and just be rainy from then on. Uh, let's see, brown fork gap, 2.4 miles. So. Almost there. Hopefully, this will be home for the night somewhere. Doesn't look too promising, but we'll see. Okay, things are settling down for the end of the night. Going to be a cold one again. It's going to be 22, but no rain, so it should be all right. I've been hanging bear bags every night. See the sun setting? It's so beautiful. 
It's hard to imagine that right now, got 12 miles into Fontana. We'll knock that out tomorrow, spend the night at the lodge, and we'll start the Smokies. Hanging out with the coolest group of hikers right now. I don't, I didn't ask people to be on camera, but nice shelter, good stuff, beautiful area. Not a lot of tent spots here, but I was able to hang a hammock just perfectly. No wind or rain this time though, but still got the doors shut and uh, just to allow just some more warmth to stay inside there. Anyway, that'll about do it for me. See you in the morning.